What is the first word that comes to your mind when I say Ferrari? Oh, uh, fast red sports cars. No, Keller! Lawsuits! Lawsuits. Ferrari has... Ferrari has been historically paranoid about what their customers do to their cars. 90% of the time, someone using a Ferrari on social media, the comments are all, he's gonna get a cease and desist letter or can't wait to see the lawsuit in the mail. It's not like, wow, that's a cool, fast sports car. A lot of people are scared and there's a lot of tension surrounding Ferrari. I have bought one. We're gonna find out if that's true. I will say we have a slight history with red vehicles. I hope it's not red. There she is, a 2020 Ferrari F8 with only 3,000 miles on it. A lot of people were assuming that I would get like a used beat up 458 or something cheap. This is one of Ferrari's best cars. Ferrari doesn't like people using their cars in ways they weren't intended to be used. Where do you draw the line? Should I worry about taking my car off road? Is it meant to go on a gravel road? Like companies hire aggressive legal teams because I would have done the same thing. If I make Ferrari say Ferrari and I put a cat on there and I change the logo itself, that that is in infringing on their copyright. I feel like if anyone else was having fun with their car and they wrapped it and put a funny name, the company wouldn't care. It's like popping a little pop can open. Like, oh. Probably slam though. Cody, That'd be a good thing. I don't know if this is meant to happen. <gasps> <gasps> Just talking about the key falling apart. Should I be worried about talking about something like that when it actually happened and being sued? I want to preface this entire whatever is about to happen with this car. I love the car. I plan on having a lot of fun with it. Like in a good way. Carbon here, carbon on the vents, carbon doors, the entire doors are carbon. This is carbon, the seats are carbon. I am feeling very good about this because a pressure washer is probably not gonna cut through that. <laughs> Stop. Just leave it. Warning. I feel like the driver warning should be like, you could get sued. As we get into these higher end vehicles, things are gonna hold up extremely well. Koenigseggs, they literally smash them with sledgehammers before they send them out. We have this plexiglass shield. A lot of you are probably like, wait, that doesn't look quality, it's plastic. This is much, much, much more durable than any glass or anything that you could put. It's probably only like $12 if you broke it. A Corvette C8 is like Ferrari's clay block before they carve the car out of it. Corvette just took the whole block. They're like, that'll work. They're like, yeah, it looks like, looks good. It looks like a brick. So that will actually come out the bottom. So that's convenient. We have a lot of room here. Another warning. Oh, it's a how to do your own law. I did not realize it actually came with Ferrari gloves. That's a tow hook. I used to thread the tow hook. Pretty sure it's cross thread. Oh, like it just came free. A Ferrari air compressor. Oh, crap, dude. This, this is personalization specifications. Red air vent grip on dashboard. <laughs> That's quite specific. <laughs> They're like small studs for leather strap. These badges. If you were to add them onto a Ferrari that did not come with them, is over $14,000. That is nothing compared to the cost of messing with the badge, which comes with the price of your life. That's a $72,000. <laughs> Where did that come from? Oh no. What if we put little googly eyes on the horsey? <laughs> <laughs> Dude, get it, get it off, get it off, we're gonna get sued. <laughs> We're still getting sued. <laughs> Stop. Um, and we have. Don't do that. Something as simple as ripping the $30,000 stock exhaust off our F8 and putting a really loud one on could get us into some legal trouble with Ferrari. Unfortunately. <laughs> we do not care. You literally just sold this. The guy's supposed to pick it up today. I just push it over here. What is, what is... Ferraris don't come with pretty wheels. Can I say that legally? Yes. It has a factory skid plate. They must have done that for like when you're rock crawling. We had one of the world's most aggressive tunes put on this car. So it pops, bangs, everything. That's from 1K Motorsports. <laughs> Oh, man. We're in two-wheel 
drive car. This will kill you. That's f***ing scary! Then I'm just going to transition my weight onto the roof gently so I don't dent it. And then we're just going to stand up. This that easy. What are you wearing? That was pretty good. It's my outfit. McThick. Sorry, thick, thick fillet. I always bring protection. This is what I wear on the property in case I were to be attacked at any moment, I'm ready. We are now at the border of the most militarized place in America. If you zoom in up there, you can see this lovely sign that says thieves will be shot. Unfortunately, we've lost some people, but that's not what we're here to talk about. This car has now crossed into a very dangerous place. Once we cross this line, things could go very wrong. You just drew that line. That line. There's a slight concern that entering my driveway could kill us. And that's because it could set off the airbags. Right behind this bumper, there are some sensors that are very sensitive. More sensitive than Ferrari. We don't want the airbags to go off particularly because it could disable the entire car and then we have a bunch of stuff to deal with. We need to be really careful about hitting stuff for the next 10 minutes till we get down the driveway. One last long good look at a fully intact Ferrari. Okay, let's go. Yeah, we're good. <laughs> It just scooted up like a near vertical slope. My car wouldn't even come up this hill. That is nuts. Highly durable setup. <laughs> We're doing donuts in a freaking Ferrari. <laughs> Oh my gosh! Holy right, shit! Hey, hop in. I have a five star reservation. Let's go. Oh, oh. <laughs> what? Oh my god! The real question is is any of this legal? Absolutely f not. <laughs> but we were making more money than we knew what to do with. Rally car, baby! Ooh, that was a big one. Yeah. Yeah. Every, all that is coming up now. Just from that, I didn't even do anything, dude. This is nuts how well it's doing, though. Like, it just rained a ton. Like, this is muddy dirt. We have a dinner to make it to, so I'm gonna see if I can get us there a little quicker. Hold on, I know, I know a shortcut up here. I can't even see where you're going. Quiet down. I'm trying to see where I'm going. No, no, that's the woods. That's the woods. That's the woods. Hey, hey, hey. Is it up in here? No, 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 no. Oh. Oh my God, dude. The branches went through the hood. It's a safety feature. So if you hit fences or guardrails, they go up through there. the driveway nice and curvy like a racetrack here so that we can do this
think a grinding wheel will be probably better than a cutoff wheel. How's the jet fuel conversion coming? It's all done. It's ready to go. Most people with Ferraris don't wash their own cars. I actually have a little pride right now. I am washing my own car. The best way to wash your Ferrari is with, of course, it's a 3,300 PSI power washer. Though. That's a problem with the hood scoop. It's impractical because it fills up with dirt. Look how clean it's getting. It's a drain. They put a drain oh, in the hood. There's a drain. They did think of everything, yeah. didn't they? I'm assuming that can get wet. Contrary to what you all may think, I actually care a lot about my cars, especially the red ones. That's why I bought this. This large piece of this is a huge bubble that goes around the car to protect it from stuff like helicopter crashes. Where'd you get this from? HTTPS backslash backslash colon www.chinaspyballoon.net. They're running a sale right now. They had a bunch of white ones, but they're all out of stock. Just gently park it there. Yeah. Gently Wait, 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 wait. We have a freshly filleted Atlantic cod. This came out of the freezer section at Walmart. Let's say I, I set this broom here and it just like falls on the car. Would this protect it? I don't think the broom is a problem really. The kid in the TikTok threw a stepladder on his Enzo Ferrari. And I was like, wow, that could protect my Ferrari. Dude, that's actually sick. Uh, the slider's not big enough. Oh, that's actually sick. You, you didn't even hit it. I don't think the slider's big enough either. See, it's repelling me. I think that did pretty well. Let's try something else. Give me a hammer.